Hi friends, welcome. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm in Onobure, uh, Pondicherry, and we are going to go to a sushi restaurant. So to give you some idea of what sushi is, sushi is a traditional Japanese dish prepared of rice and a variety of ingredients. In Japan, usually sushi is made of rice and seafood like raw fish, tuna, or salmon. In India, sushi is um, getting popular these days and we can find sushi restaurants or Japanese restaurants in usually in metro cities like Delhi, Chennai, Bangalore, or Mumbai. So today we are going to go to a sushi restaurant called Sakura Sushi. The uniqueness of Sakura Sushi restaurant is that the owner of the restaurant is a German and the staff are from France and Belgium so it's quite an international restaurant Yeah, so let's go and check it out Now we are heading to Sakura Sushi there is an eye-catching graffiti on the wall of the restaurant. Amma eating sushi against the sun, which looks like a symbol of a ja Japanese national flag. So let's go and enter the restaurant. This is inside Sakura Sushi. The restaurant is quite lovely and cozy. It is divided into two parts. One is in front of the sushi counter and the other one is a floor seating for a group in the corner. They have interesting books up on the shelf. This is low seating, like a Japanese style. The tables here are handmade by the owner by himself. On the wall, there are lots of messages for the love of sushi given from the customers. It is like a cafe where a customer can read a book and eat sushi. And they have a small sink which is cute and neat. In the menu, they explain what sushi is. Sushi may not be still so common in India, so this is quite informative for customers especially for first-timers who never tried sushi before. They can read it out and get some idea. There are options for vegetarians, vegans, and non-vegetarians. For vegetarian options, most of sushi are made of pickled or flavored vegetables. Some are with soya products too. Also, there are different types of sushi like maki, nigiri, inside out roll, or temaki sushi. Let's ask chef's recommendation. So, our most favorite sushi would be number five with mainly tofu avocado mm. and the vegetarian. The most famous non veg would be number 14 with shrimps, fried and mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. My personal favorite would be the fish smoked cucumber mm -hmm. because it comes the closest to your real sushi. Oh, smoked fish. Smoked fish? Yes. Ah, then can we try this uh, smoked fish? Sure. With cucumber yes. and uh, one veg sushi. Um, number five. <laughs> number five. Marinated tofu, avocado, and spring. Let's look at how he's making sushi for a customer. He's putting avocados on the rice and seaweed placed on the sushi mat. And looks like he's adding a cucumber, marinated tofu, and sprinkling some sesame seeds. And finally, he's rolling the sushi steadily. Now, maki sushi is done. 
He's putting some wasabi. Pickled ginger and soya sauce. Now he's cutting the big roll into equal parts. Looks like maki sushi and nigiri sushi is done. Oh, looks so good! Can't wait for our orders. Sushi we have just ordered chef's recommendation. This is um, marinated tofu, avocado and string onion. This is vegetarian or vegan sushi. This is um, smoked fish and cucumber. fermented beetroot and avocado. This is a fried pumpkin and spring onion. And this is inside out roll, which is, which is very um, different from uh, Japanese sushi. And this is made, this is prepared of kimchi, cucumber, avocado and spring onion. Now I have this, uh, Yeah, that's what I forgot. The German in India is on the 
Now let's find out what other customers thought about Sakura Sushi. to try uh, sushi or Japanese food? No, no, I have eaten sushi before, but hmm. I was eating miso soup for the first time. Oh. So even I have some miso paste at my home that I was thinking really? to make vegetable broth for a long time, but I haven't. Maybe I'll go and try it. <laughs> so this place is really affordable. We have half sushi in different places like here, hmm. but this is like really affordable yeah. and good. Tasty. Yeah. Just beware of the timings. <laughs> Because we have missed this uh, place because of the timings for almost a week. Yeah, and I guess you are like vegan. Like, yeah, uh, vegan. Uh, we both are vegan. Yeah, oh, vegan. that's nice. I think in, in even in India, it's sometimes difficult to find a vegan sushi. How to say sushi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who has like sushi restaurant who yeah. gives the option we for vegan? We have to tell them what not to put in the sushi. So usually we have to compromise on the ingredients if we are looking for a vegan sushi mm. anywhere else. How did you know about sushi? Uh, one of my friends, Richard, uh, so I went to Chennai in 2016, and he was like, this is a good place to try sushi. And I'm like, what is sushi? I have no idea. Mm. That was my first time. Like, the flavors and everything is like, oh, God, I've never experienced anything like that. Oh. Yeah, I cannot explain this, but it's really crunchy, gooey, <laughs> sour, so good. Ah, isn't it different, really different from uh, India? It is so mm. different. The ginger, the wasabi, mm. the mm. chicken rice, mm. everything is so different. Mm. So somebody gave me almost a half inch of wasabi. When I, I was eating the sushi for sushi first time, because I didn't know that wasabi is that, that hard. Mm. So I ate the whole of it and then... So. <laughs> Did you like wasabi? Yeah, yeah. But now I... Now let's talk to Ravi, the owner of Sakura Sushi. Ravi, uh, when did you start this restaurant and why did you start this yes. We started the restaurant the uh, end of December 2017. Mm -hmm. We started it because uh, I love sushi and there is no other sushi place around here where you can get vegetarian and vegan sushi. Mm -hmm. Did you learn to make your sushi? Because there is no sushi place here. Yes. It's uh, I taught myself basically in a uh, German chef. Mm -hmm. So even in Germany, I started to make sushi already for my family and my friends. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I, I taught myself. Oh, did you find uh, like Japanese? Like, did you find sushi places in Germany as well? Yeah, I'm from Berlin. We have a lot of sushi places. Oh. And whenever we go went out for food, we went either to Indian or to sushi to Japanese restaurants. Berlin is a very international city mm -hmm. and they have foods coming from all over the world mm -hmm. and Japan is uh, a big part of it. So sushi especially is quite uh, famous in Berlin. Oh, do people in Berlin like sushi as well? Yes. Do you have lots of uh, variety of uh, vegetarian, vegan and non-vegetarian sushi? So how do you come up with these uh, like creative menus? 
Yeah, when, when I when I wanted to start a sushi restaurant, I thought myself, who will be my customers? Mm. And because most of the people here living in this area or in India as such are vegetarian and vegan mm. people, mm. so we had to come up with the vegetarian and vegan varieties, mm -hmm. and that's what it came to. The biggest portion is uh, vegan, and then we have a small portion of non-veg sushi as well. Uh -huh. And uh, how long does it uh, take for you to? Think of uh, new recipes, these recipes. It's difficult to say. It's an ongoing process. Like uh, I'm thinking about it uh, from time to time, and then I I try it out with my staff and uh, we develop new combinations of vegetarian sushis. Mm -hmm. And what's your like most favorite uh, sushi? My most favorite mm. would be number uh, this uh, fish smoke with cucumber. Uh -huh. Because it comes the closest to real sushi, which is normally raw fish, uh -huh. but we don't have raw fish only from time to time. Mm -hmm. uh, and the smoked fish is not cooked, not fried, just smoked. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, quite close to the real sushi. That's why it's my favorite. Oh, nice! And how do you get these uh, ingredients? Uh, like, for example, this sticky rice or fish? Yes. How do you get these ingredients? All ingredients come from uh, the, the sticky rice comes from North India. There is a Japanese Indian cooperative which grows organic sushi rice. Mm -hmm. And there I get my sushi, I get my miso and soy sauce from there. Mm -hmm. The rest of the ingredients are locally sourced from the markets here, from the shops, but all the vegetables oh. are from here or from Kamishere. Mm -hmm. Do you get the fishes from here? Yes, the fish is a small manufacturer in Kamishere which they store the fish. Mm -hmm. And if we have uh, Raw fish from time to time, raw tuna. We mm -hmm. also get it from the local. Uh, it comes from the Bay of Bengal. Oh really? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it must be really fresh because this is very close to the. Yeah, yeah, it's very fresh. Let's try to bring uh, Japanese food, especially sushi, uh, to the people here, which I live in, out of it, with our community. The script I, I want to provide good and healthy food to my uh, community members and also to the people who are visiting us in all of the, I think, sushi or Japanese uh, food. The Japanese, they, they put a lot of effort into the food, you know, they, it's a, um, a very important part of their life and I think it should be for everybody, you know, because food is what we take in our body every day. So you should eat healthy, light and tasty. So today we have discovered um, a variety of unique sushi dishes. Traditionally, sushi is prepared of fish, but it is really interesting to discover new way of making sushi other than fishes. Also, it is great that we can enjoy a sushi with everyone, including vegetarians or vegans. If you get a chance to visit all of it or Pondicherry, please don't forget to visit Sakura Sushi. It's a must visit place. Thank you for watching the video today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.